good Eastern morning and welcome to my channel Ewok in the Woods Karen today I'm up in Cottonwood Arizona and I'm gonna do the dead horse area trail systems and I'm gonna start let me see if I can get my hiking sticks Just one of them I guess would work better I'm gonna start right here up to the kiln connector Go up the lime kiln, take Thumper across, and then I believe that this is the lower raptor that'll come back down and around. It's supposed to be about seven miles, so um, it is a medium or moderate uh, trail. So hopefully seven miles, I can get it done in about six say three and a half four hours but we'll see I'll check back with you again in a little while well I did flush out some deer I thought I had hit the button but apparently I didn't just looked at the video and dang it because I had some pretty good shots <laughs> that would have been on video oh there's another one yeah they're over there so getting ready to cross this area which is the reason why there were some deer over here they were getting some water And welcome back. So over there is a lady walking in front of me. She doesn't have any water. So she's a lot better shape than I am. But that's where the trail's going. It's about east. Here's looking north. I'm on the lime kiln trail. There's the cement mill distance and town of Jerome Mangus Mountain and that's a little town of Cottonwood that green area in the forefront is Dead Horse Ranch Park State Park and because it's Easter the entrance is free today so I just did a pretty good climb up maybe a couple hundred feet but let's get to hiking. So all the void that you see is limestone crushed down. And we walk along this little ramp. There's a biker coming. It's a pretty nice hike. It's pretty warm up here in Cottonwood today. Not down in the valley. Let's just get down to 100. I think here. It's usually about 10 degrees cooler, so right now it might be high 70s, maybe low 80s right now. Beautiful day so far though. Alright, a quick update. So it's about 10.30 in the morning. Been hiking for about 45 minutes. Done almost two miles already. And I'm about ready to hit the cutoff for Bumper. Found this nice juniper tree and some shade. Decided to fill up with my hydrate and refuel. The one biker he went down and he'd already passed me and coming back up. And then the one gal that I had said that was pretty far ahead of me, 
she came back so she must have gone up to that thumper trailhead and turned around so i don't feel so bad that she didn't have any water with her but i just did my stretches and i'm pretty sweaty i don't know if you can see any sweat back here but it's pretty damp so it's a pretty warm one really haven't been hiking an awful lot especially in this type of heat like I said earlier, it is supposed to be about 99 or 100 down in Phoenix, so it is a warm one for Easter this year. But I do need to get in shape and I do need to get out, so I'm making it happen. Enjoying the day. Gonna finish this and get to hiking. Catch him with you later. So a quick check-in, some soft dirt back through there was kind of nice. And now we're getting on some of this limestone. And it looks like I got a sign coming up ahead. The bill ends in circle. So, just a little bit farther to Thumper. Not too bad. And I have made it to the Thumper Trail. Hopefully, you can see that. Lime Kiln actually goes through those gates. And I think it said back there it would be about 13 miles to Sedona. I found. sure what kind of tree that is. It looks like an acacia, but I'm not really sure. <sighs> that feels good. Take a break in the shade for a minute. That sand that I was walking through, it is a lot smoother on the feet. However, it is Kind of like walking in the sand dunes so that every time that you take a step forward you slide back a little bit and it's pretty deep in some places i don't have dirty girl gaiters or anything like that but i do have hiking boots so i don't have anything getting in my my boots but yeah that i thought it would be a little bit nicer but it was a little bit tougher actually so up here on a mesa right now I think I'll kind of go along over there. It's about 2.4 miles on the thumper. And on the other side of that ridge line is where I'll probably come down that raptor. So 2.4 thumper. Let's get at it. So thumper didn't stay up on top of that ridge line, like I thought, came down into this wash. So, down is not really my forte. But I imagine that would be really pretty if there was some water running off of it. But, a certain time of year, like maybe monsoon season, this might not be too passable.
Not too shabby. A little bit slippery with some loose dirt and gravel. But yeah, really wasn't expecting it to go down into that wash like that. Okay, so my pace has been slowed quite a bit. I got this thick sand behind me. Um, I'm trying to get it. It's kind of hard to walk in. And I just checked all trails, which is where I got this trail from. I've got 400 foot of climb to do. And the 2.4 miles, well, actually, probably the 2 miles, because I think I already took off at 0.4. So in 2 miles, 400 foot of climb. So, slow going. Might not be about 12 o'clock like I wanted when I finished Thumper and got onto the lower wrapper. Might be a little bit later. I'll just have to see in a while. Alright, so I switch back. And it goes over there. Goes back over that way. Might go up in between that saddle. Not really sure. Eh, it might go along that ridge. I think it'll be just wonderful because I won't be exposed in the sun again. It's been kind of nice with sun at my back. And I'm out of that sandy stuff, which makes it a little bit easier. So my plan is, <laughs> you know, plans can change, but I think when I get to that thumper, little raptor connecting, Part of the loop. Stop for a little while, camel up, take another one of those hydrate and refuels, maybe snack on a bar or something. Let's try to get me a little bit through the rest of the two mile hike down and then the connector back over to where I parked my vehicle. Up. So, anyway, that's the plan. Time to hit these switchbacks. Check in and again in a little while. Okay. So I did come through the saddle. But I'm definitely doing a pud, which is a pointless up and down. And I think they really could have stayed up on top of that ridge. And maybe did a little bit of a, a down, but now I'm coming down into another wash. So we know what that means. Another up. I don't like the trails. But it just seems pretty ridiculous. Anyway, this is definitely a mountain bike haven. Let's see, I've seen same guy three times. One guy going counterclockwise like that counterclockwise like I am. Just a minute ago, another guy going counterclockwise. And then two heading clockwise. I think that's all the mountain bikers. Still haven't seen anybody hiking the trails since that one lady turned around and came back down. So it's just me. And like I said, the downs slow me down. It's not my favorite on my knees to do. I do a lot of cautionary, making sure that I've got a good step, planting my foot good, I'm gonna wrench that knee. So the downs are harder, even though the ups make you pant an awful lot. And it looks like we're getting in to some more of that sandy stuff. get off of here and check back with you again in a little while.
so if you've got horses you can go through the gate hikers can go up and over so no need for me to close the gate because it's already closed Okay, so I just came to the trail connector. There was uh, what, four different mountain bikers from Riverside, California up here. They were resting in the shade and I decided to pull up my own spot of shade. I just got done eating one of these Laura protein bars, 12 grams of protein. And, oops, sorry about that. I'm working on my second hydrate and refuel so I checked the temperature here a little bit ago 81 degrees and then when I got up here one of the guys checked his watch he said oh well it went up it's 84 <laughs> um, so I I actually did better than I thought I would I think I got to the Dead Horse Ranch Park about 9 30 walked up to use one of the restrooms, started walking where I thought the trail was and went a little bit too far. So I came back, found the um, Lime Kiln connector and made my way up to Lime Kiln Trail. So all of that was probably about a half a mile. And then just did the 1.8 miles of the Lime Kiln and the 2.4 of Thumper. So, if you add all that up, it's about four and a half miles, and it's just uh, just over 12 o'clock. I've been sitting here for a little while till now, so it's pretty close to probably about 12, 10, 12, 15. So, that's, what, two and a half hours? Four and a half miles? That's actually pretty good. So, I'm impressed. So, I'm going to finish this up and be on my way down. It'll be nice. Okay, so I got about one more mile to go. There's the trail. I've been doing a lot of ridge walking, a couple of downs. I've been pretty exposed this whole time. Not much else to look at, but this is probably one of the last videos from up high before I get down a little bit lower way off in the distance. Sedona off that way. So, one more mile and then we're done. And I've come across another gate. So again, up here, we see we go through the gate. Hikers. So another quick update is I really don't like this loose rock stuff. Um, last time I stopped filming and I had that down to go. Did feel my right knee kind of do something. But it feels okay right now. I do have some ice packs that I wish I would have put into the freezer at the motel that I'm staying, but I do have a, an instant ice, if those ones are not cold, so I'll be okay, and then when I get back to the motel room, I can take some ibuprofen, but on Wednesday, I get my gel shot, which will be nice, the gel, gel, gel shot in my knee from the VA. Looks like I am coming. 
coming up to another one of those really sketchy spots. There, I did do a little something to that right knee. Like I said, it's, it's feeling okay. But, just to be on the safe side, I am going to put away this camera while I negotiate all this loose gravel. Catch you back in a little bit. So an update, have to get off lower Raptor, unless you park over by where that trailhead is at, which I didn't. I got onto the um, lime kiln connector to go up to lime kiln. So there's a roadrunner trail that you take. And unfortunately, there is not enough signage to say where you're at on trail. Looking at all trails app, I ended up doing Roadrunner Road, so with some road walk. Hooked back up with Mesa Trail, which is what I'm on right now, probably because of it's running next to the Mesa. But I should be Coming back up to that lime kiln connector here pretty soon. And it is hot out today. So there's a lot of private property right along this side. I think I'm parked right over there next to the lagoon. Just gotta get there to it. And I could have road walked more, but a lot of people are doing the Easter Sunday milling about driving on the roads. I didn't feel like dealing with that. As you can see, a lot of horse usage up here. Dead Horse Ranch. Apparently has live horses as well. No, actually they do. There's actually quite a bit to do up here. You know, I'll go on some of the lakes with some kayaks. Not sure whether or not if you can get to the Verde River from here. at this is trail and I really don't remember going by any of that stuff so I'm gonna check my all trails one more time see where I'm at 